Hi, my name is Kevin Priestley, and I'm an Esri instructor. Today, we're going to learn more about metadata in ArcGIS. Metadata is data about data. Who created it, how recently it was created, its accuracy and legal use limitations are all important components of a metadata record. To be responsible stewards of data, it's good practice to update metadata periodically, especially when we want to share our data for others to use. Generally speaking, metadata could be stored in many ways. I'm sure we've seen readme text files that accompany zip folder downloads or data dictionaries that are stored as PDFs. But metadata in ArcGIS also has a specific technical meaning. In ArcGIS, metadata is organized using an extensible markup language or XML file that gets stored on an item, like a feature class or a feature service. Let's dive into metadata with a specific example. In this project, I'm working to assess access to transportation using ArcGIS Pro. I need to find road data, process it in ArcGIS Pro, and update the metadata record. To find road network data, let's check out the City of Minneapolis's Open Data ArcGIS Hub site. From there, we can search for and select a data set from the search results. When we select our data set, we open a map of features, as well as a column on the left that provides us with a snapshot of metadata information. We can click View Full Details to see additional information, like the data's attributes, and a View Metadata button. And when we click this view metadata button, we discover how metadata is stored on the feature surface item as an XML file, formatted as HTML, and using the ISO 19139 standard. We decide to use this data set, so we download it as a shapefile and open it in ArcGIS Pro. And we decide to check out the metadata from the catalog view before we begin to process our data. We go to the catalog pane, open up the metadata for our shapefile, and we see that there's nothing there. First, we'll try to synchronize the metadata, which is a manual process in ArcGIS Pro to update metadata records based on XML. We click synchronize, which definitely adds more information, but not all of it. Now we see attributes that weren't there previously, but we don't see the item description or other key pieces of information. And this is where our metadata standard comes into play. ArcGIS Pro synchronization process is only looking for XML code stored using the ArcGIS metadata standard but the metadata from the city of Minneapolis is stored using the ISO 19139 specification. Thankfully, we can convert the ISO specification to ArcGIS by using the import option. Now, when we use this data set in a geoprocessing operation, the metadata will be carried onto our output data set. For example, let's run the feature class to feature class tool to generate a geodatabase feature class from our shapefile and then view the metadata. Voila, it's the same. Now we can edit our metadata as we see fit. We could say this feature class was created from the Minneapolis centerline shapefile described below, accessed on 4.27.2023. Now, when we share this information, our metadata will be stored in the ArcGIS standard and can be accessible from an XML file that's stored on the item. In this video, we got to learn more about metadata in ArcGIS, including storage, standards, and options for adding and updating metadata 
in ArcGIS Pro. Happy mapping, everybody.